Hi, I'm Bill Keeter. Welcome to this brief presentation about building a functional hierarchy and RCM cost. In this presentation, we discuss creating a functional hierarchy based on either a PI diagram or a process flow diagram and how to use the library function to help speed analyzing your systems. We will use the system shown here to demonstrate building a hierarchy and building a system component. We will add all eight of these items to the hierarchy, build out one of the pumps, and put that pump in a component library to be used elsewhere. Building out more detail for system components is integral to performing a good RCM analysis. It highlights the key elements of a complex item and sparks more significant conversation about failures that either have or can occur. The library function in RCM cost allows users to capture this level of detail and use it for future analysis. A complete library is one of the keys to organizational success with RCM. First, let's put all the items in the diagram into the RCM cost hierarchy. We'll start with the list on the right and just work our way down the list. For each item, just put it in as a location. Uh, if you wanted to, you could add a primary location and have these all as a sublocation to it. But we're just going to put in the individual locations as we see them. Now we'll add all the parts that make up the pump itself. So we'll have the base and all those other items that we need to analyze. But we've added some functions, functional failures, and potential causes to the hierarchy for the EO dosing pump. The next thing we want to do is look at how to use that pump for the library. So we tell up in the file menu to open a new library. We copy the EO dosing pump location and paste it to the locations in the library. Once that paste is pasted, we can expand the library and we can see that all of those items that were in that hierarchy are reflected in the library's hierarchy. The next thing we want to do is take a look at how to use that library hierarchy in a new project. So we just go to the library, copy that location, take that location over and paste it to the locations in the new project. We can expand that and we'll see that all of the information that we carried into the library is now available in the new project to use to build out your RCM project. You just have to make sure you save this library with some convenient name for use in the future. In this presentation, we discussed creating a functional hierarchy based on either a PI diagram or a process flow diagram and using the RCM cost library to help speed future analysis. Please stay tuned for our next presentation.